project professionals, they are saying in private discussions that 70-80% of the projects today will end to overruns in schedules or in budgets or both. So let's drill a little bit down of what, what are causing this. Projects are getting complex. Investment frames are shorter. The product life cycle are shorter. Of course, market instability. We have difficulties in estimating the price and the timeline and so on. But there is increasing requirements for higher and higher quality, shorter schedules, lower budget, and for EPCs, smaller margins. We have less skilled resources available. There is increasing number of stakeholders, more subcontractors, more authorities, and more communication. And that creates more hassle and misunderstanding. Today, collaboration is the key for running projects. But what is common for all of the things, ways that we are running projects is the sharing information and communication between different departments and disciplines. Today, more and more between companies and corporates. We have authorities and then through national boundaries as well. What if we could give access to the latest and the most correct information. So wouldn't that let us to do better decisions faster and following better project execution? A little bit about digital twin. First of all, it's a technology. Digitalization is software tools, mainly applications that help us to perform different tasks and makes our life easier. We have two kinds of digital twins. One is for running projects, sharing information and communication vital for projects. And then another digital twin is for operating and maintaining an asset performance purposes. Technology is the same but the usage is different. Digital twin for projects. So it's for using information, sharing information during projects. And for what? It's for improving estimates. Then it's for speeding up the engineering process, sharing models between different disciplines. And as a consequence of sharing the online information between different disciplines, your quality gets better because no collisions you can see you can understand the whole project one obstacle what we have had so far is that we were sharing documents let's say revision drawings and there's always a delay for doing it then avoiding rework on construction phase so if we are doing a good design good engineering and it's perfect no collisions right materials and everything it still might be so that something goes wrong on site. Maybe one people who is doing concrete basements is understanding dimensions wrong way. I have seen the project where all the basements for equipment were plus minus 300 millimeters. So you can imagine that all the prefabs were wrong. It's an issue management, how you can handle issue, how you can transform the information from site back to office and to the eyes of project management. Then speeding up construction, using the latest fit to purpose information it can have simplified construction sequence. We use, you have to have a tool that you can find well all the information in no time. A little bit of how the creation of digital twin for project is done. What is happening there? So everything is starting from the design, from the engineering model which is created by different design applications. It's not only the information, the engineering model that is important because you need to have a lot of other data information as well. For example, timelines, document management system, ERP for purchasing, for having the information of delivery times, all kinds of construction site and construction systems that are involved in projects. And of course, the story continues by connecting this to whatever data there exists. And today we have the capability and technology for doing all of this. So naturally, everything should be in one uh, reachable portal. Preferably, it should be a web-based tool that enables you to drill down whatever project information available and correct ones. Things like 
linking documents and engineering model together, support different formats, connect with project management and procurement tools, sharing information between shareholders. So this is the platform that we are looking for. Powerful searching tools. You could or you have to search by tag numbers, by compartments, by systems, by suppliers, by whatever to find information on certain objects in your digital twin for EPC projects. There are some studies that industrial workers spend a lot of time for searching information. So what if we could take the most part of the way and get the information very quickly? The key word is also to understanding construction sequencing, work breakdowns, how you visualize those and how you combine, for example, site material management with the digital twin so that you can understand what is, what is possible and what is not at the time when you are there on site. And the only goal for that is to avoid idle hours. So you can see things that week, well, week five you should have this, week six you should have these ready, week seven you should have these ready and week eight you should have the piping but oops you can you can realize that okay there are some now red coloring indicating that we don't have materials or we cannot progress for doing these for fitting these lines we need to continue or go to somewhere else or like in this case we know from this visualization that green lines means that we have all the materials available so let's start from there constructability so we have tools that can calculate or are containing prefab analysis the situation on site warehouses situation of prefabs and construction process and then you combine this information and visualize it in one clear view and i bet that this would be much more efficient than spreading all kinds of flat data documents excel sheets drawings on the table and fight with other project members of how the things are or how they should be and also important is that you don't need to learn the other software because this tool should be capable of taking the information from there and utilize it for this purpose follow the progress is important to understand that how the site is is actually progressing what is there what is already approved uh, installed approved what is what is still are in design phase what things are delayed compare this to maybe to the critical path that okay if we don't fix this the project is running into into difficulties and this is for minimizing the changes or reconfiguring the schedule and the content of project work weekly laser scans on the areas where the construction is happening. We compare the as-built with the as-planned model. And actually, this is the way where you can start to make changes for and over for operation. Very important thing is to be capable of manage the issues. As said, sometimes even the design engineering model is perfect something goes wrong on site and you have to inform that now you have to change this and this and these things so if you can share this information back to engineering office back to project management office without delay so it already speeds up a lot of things and by understanding that what is all about you can do changes for example in objects or things that are not yet constructed and that is actually giving the advantage of not to do things on site not to fix things but somehow change the road by preparing changes Another part of project is approval and commissioning. But what would happen if you would have a mobile tool that you go on site, mark those ones that are approved, that are tested, ready for operations, those that are not. And then if you go back to office, this information flies back to Digital Twin and is available for those that are using or needing this information. 
new views, new ways to see and show the construction and assembly. Instead of using traditional drawings, we could use mobile tools for viewing part of the that part that I am working with. I'm constructing, assembling things, fitting, to see dimensioning, to see distances. And it's really accurate. It's the engineering model, not produced drawing document that might be delayed. It's a platform for sharing tacit information, knowledge from, from experienced guys to not so experienced one. And this is how you can learn and you can transfer the knowledge. Share ideas, collect feedback and so on. Augmented reality, virtual reality to, to observe things in completely new light, only for improving understanding. So we, you could have project meetings that everyone has virtual models on their faces from different angles and they can discuss of what to do next, how we can solve the problems here. Catmatic eShare, it's, it's a single source of truth with the access of the most up-to-date information. And it's meant for good decision-making and successful EBC project. And this diagram shows that you can really get the engineering models from different sources, from different software, from laser scanning. And then you can connect this with all the vital or important projecting software that you have in-house. Catmatic eShare is for helping the people working in the projects to communicate and sharing vital information, speeding up the work and keeping timelines, and avoiding mistakes and costly errors. Shortly, it is for completing projects successfully. So thank you very much and have a nice day.